Jilling, make your report. Yes, my lord. Gongsun Zan's army, together with the Paishan bandits, have launched an attack on Yun Shao. Tao Qian's army, led by serving officer Liu Bei, is marching towards Cao Cao. As for Liu Biao, it appears he has not recovered from the last battle. There are no signs of any movements from his army. Hmm. Very well. Everything is going according to plan. Now for the final push. I shall deploy for battle and put an end to this myself. I... I bring news! Gong Soon San's army, along with the Paishan bandits, have been defeated by Yuin Shao's serving officer, Lu Bu! R reporting Leo Bei's squad, the vanguard of Cao Qian's army, has been defeated by Cao Cao's troops. What? Ugh. They're all useless. A lot of them. If it has come to this, I shall deploy for battle myself. I will clear a path to safety, even if it means my life. While your loyalty is praiseworthy, it is simply not a good plan. This is not a battle situation that can be handled by a single warrior. At this stage, we must consider retreat as an option. Silence! How can you suggest retreat at a time like this? We shall not yield, not until I've gotten one over on that Yuan Shao. T terrible news! Liu Biao's army has attacked one castle! Our supply line has been completely cut off! Uh, it can't be. I thought there were no movements from Liu Biao's camp. So, all of our plans have been thwarted. Then, as Zhou Yu has suggested, we must prepare to retreat. Yet the problem is, where to? If we cannot flee to Jing province, then perhaps somewhere east of Yang province, if we can make it down as far as Shou Chun, we should be able to avoid the enemy's pursuit. Wait, wait. You're getting ahead of yourselves. I still haven't decided whether we're retreating. Yuan Shu, seeing how our supply has been cut off, we will not have ample supplies. You should know what that means better than anyone. You best watch your tongue, Greenhorn. Ugh. Fine then. We just need to head to Shotun, right? Everyone, make your preparations at once. Magnificent! You were truly magnificent, Master Lubu. Now that we have claimed Ding Tao, Yang Province belongs firmly to us. Ha! This was nothing more than a warm up. Where do we go next, Chen Gong? What land will we invade? Uh, I bring news! Hu Yong has fallen to Cao Cao's forces. As soon as our main unit headed towards Ding Tao, the enemy swooped in and seized it. No! Pu Yong? Pu Yong has been lost? Get a hold of yourself. If it has been taken, we will simply take it back. Come, Chen Gong! Wait! Please! Wait just a minute! If we leave Ding Tao now, the enemy will seize it instead! The whole battle will degenerate into a game of cat and mouse, and we will lose troops all the while. We are outnumbered, meaning that this is a recipe for defeat. I believe, yes, I believe we must leave Young Province for now. Ridiculous! I won! Why should I give that up just because Pu Yang has been lost? I understand your anger. However, we have just finished fighting a difficult battle. Our men are tired and have suffered injuries. Our path to conquest has only just begun. There are other territories besides Yan province. I promise you, my lord. I promise you that I will find a way for you to seize a new land. Please, for now, we must retreat. Ugh. 
Cao Cao, you will pay dearly for what you have done here today. I swear one day I will destroy you and reclaim Yan province. Chen Gong, prepare the next battle for me. My lord, leave it to me. Somehow, we managed to make it into Shochun. Yet, I was not able to take adequate care of our allies, which has caused us to lose a great deal of soldiers. Our scouts have just returned with their reports. Gong Sun San and Tao Qian have both suffered devastating defeats, and will therefore require time to recover. So then it's impossible for us to strike back immediately. <sighs> Why can I not be Tuan Shao? Tell me one thing that fool's got that I don't! It is perhaps more precise to say that we were bested by Cao Cao rather than Yuan Shao. The way he took in and led the remnant yellow turbans was most impressive. That Kerr was perhaps the true victor of this battle. What? Are you saying it's not Yuan Shao that I lost to? But that inferior petty official? Lord Yuan Shu, it is not the superiority of one's officers that decides battles. It is a combination of having skilled soldiers and a sound plan that leads to besting one's enemy. We but simply formed an alliance and recklessly attacked. It was nothing one could call a plan. If we are to defeat you and Shao, our side will also need to prepare properly. Overall, don't you think you were a bit too overzealous? If you want to beat your enemy, you have to fight in a more dignified manner. Besides, that's the kind of battle that gets me and the rest of our allies fired up! Proper preparations. Fighting in a dignified manner. Spare me your banter. What strength do we have left to achieve such tasks? And not just strength. This string of defeats has also cost me my reputation. But don't think it ends like this. I won't be outdone by Yuan Shao, no matter what. The rightful leader of the Yuan clan is me. Mark my words, I shall never again endure such a miserable defeat. I will do whatever it takes to surpass that fool. My strength and my reputation will be restored once more without fail. We successfully reclaimed Yan province from Lu Bu. It is all thanks to you, Shao Hodun and Shun Yu. Hmm. We are not worthy of your praise. Lu Bu was our main target, and we failed to capture him. No, Master Shao Hodun. Given the circumstances, Lu Bu himself was not the most important thing. The problem was all of the castles across Yan province that defected to Lu Bu's side. Master Cao Cao displayed his strength in Shu province. However, it was not enough to convince the people to follow him. Do you agree, Master Shunyo? Yes. The people do not put their faith in power, but justice and righteousness. Much like the campaign against the Yellow Turbans who opposed the Han, or the coalition to combat Dong Zhuo, who disrespected the Emperor and terrorized the people. I see. So displaying our sense of righteousness along with our strength can go a long way in gaining the understanding and support of the people. My lord, I bring news. Emperor Xian has escaped from Li Jue and Guo Xi and is requesting assistance at Luoyang. Haha. <laughs> What excellent timing. My lord, we should assist the emperor and take him under our protection. Nothing could be more righteous than that. Although, if we are to aid the emperor, we must do so quickly. I am certain that the other warlords are thinking the exact same thing. Yes, I agree. 
As soon as our preparations are complete, we shall head to Luoyang. Tonight's banquet was marvelous. Though I would expect nothing less from the noble lord Yuan Shu, it was a feast enjoyed by both parent and child alike. From this land, we will surely rise up once more. And to that end, I will do my best to provide what little help I can mm. offer. For that, I am grateful. Say, child, tonight's fruit was delicious, wasn't it? I had it specially ordered just for tonight. You should feel privileged to have been able to eat it. I am. It was delectable. Thank you very much. Why, those are... You... You didn't eat the oranges that I provided you. I... Uh, I, uh, I am terribly sorry. Uh, 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 they just look so delicious that I wished my mother could try them. Uh, 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 your, your mother, you say? Yes. I thought I could offer them as thanks, if only a little, to repay her for selflessly raising me. Regardless of the reason, you have disgraced Lord Yuan Shu with your rudeness. This shall not be forgiven. Leave him be. It is simply a child thinking of their parent. In fact, such filial piety should be praised. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hmm. We haven't a moment to lose. I must defeat Yuan Chao to reclaim my reputation, as well as my power. If anyone's got a plan, then speak it now. Then, allow me to speak first. If you are to rise up again, Lord Yuan Shu, you must first expand your territory and secure enough forces to face Yuan Shao. To do so, you will have to divide what little strength we have into two parts. One force shall head north to attack Shu province, while the other heads east to attack Yang province. Liu Bei has only recently taken control of Shu province following Tao Qian's death. If we take advantage of the chaos there, we should be able to take it even with few soldiers. Meanwhile, Yang province is guarded by Liu Yao, who knows little of battle, so we can take it easily as well. My father lived in Yang province long ago. If we are to divide our forces in two, I shall attack that side. You and Shu, lend me your troops. Hmm. Your logic is sound indeed. Yet, I've just come up with a plan. One that will achieve my goal as quickly as possible. Give me the Imperial Seal you possess. If I were to wield it and become Emperor, I would obtain authority and power second to none. My lord, it is not advisable. Despite appearances, the Han Imperial Court still thrives. If you used the seal to claim yourself emperor, it would be considered treason against the court. Could it be you don't have confidence in us? I swear on the name of the Soon Clan. I will take Yang province. Now then, lend me those troops. Hmm. What reason would I have to put my faith in you? If I were to lend you troops, what's to say I'll get anything in return? But if you were to say, leave the Imperial Seal with me as collateral, that would be another story. Pretty small price to pay for soldiers. Wouldn't you agree? Is there no end to your obsession with the Imperial Seal? Fine then. If you want it that badly, it's yours. However, I will be borrowing those troops of yours. Lord Yun Shu, how then shall we proceed? Yet I do agree, my lord, that it would only be natural for one of your stature to become the Emperor. No. There is still some truth to what Zhou Yu says. One cannot become an emperor without territory. We must first take Yang and Shu provinces. 
I'll leave Young Province to Sun Tzu and his men. That just leaves Shu Province. Prepare to march. I shall rout that Liu Bei by myself if I have to. The ruler of Shu Province is Liu Bei, who was granted the territory by the previous ruler, Tao Qiang, due to the respect he had for his character. Famed for his virtue, he is sure to acquiesce to our request for sanctuary. While this may work in the short term, what do you have planned after that? Liu Bei is currently under attack from Yuan Shu. Are we to wage war against you and Shu as well? Huh. The idea of battle against that coward does nothing for me. I won't do it. Naturally, I have no intention whatsoever of fighting against you and Shu. No. Our true enemy will be. Master Lu Bu. Master Chen Gong. Welcome. I invite you to consider Shu Province as your home, and I myself as your family. You are too kind, Master Li Obey. It would be an honor. Come, Master Lubu. Do you not agree? Ha! Who does he think he is? They're only here because of their own mistakes. They stole Yan province while it was unmanned, then bore the ire of Cao Cao when he came back, and fled here. Brother, do you really trust Lu Bu enough to allow him to stay among us? I do not know. But they have no place to stay and are in need of help. It is our duty to extend them a helping hand. That is the dictate of our Code of Benevolence. I understand. In that case, we will do all we can to support your decision. I don't know if we should just go helping anyone and everyone, though. But if you say so, brother, I won't argue. Master Liu Bei, we have received reports. That Yuan Shu is preparing troops for a campaign. I fear that he intends to attack Shu province. Master Yuan Shu does? Recently, Master Yuan Shu seems to have become obsessed with expanding his sphere of influence. I suppose he has decided that it's easier to attack us than Cao Cao in Yan province. Ah, sounds good to me. We'll make sure they pay the price for underestimating us. No, Zhang Fei. I want you and Master Lu Bu to stay here and protect the castle. One, you and myself will face this threat. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! How can you just leave me behind, brother? I cannot allow all three of us to leave Shu Province at once. If an emergency should occur, it would be unfair to our guest, Master Lu Bu. It would be improper to expect too much of those here on our invitation. Therefore, one of us must remain here. The defense of our territory is a crucial task. Cao Cao could invade from Yan province at any moment. But, our brother has decided that with you here, Zhang Fei, no enemy will be able to take our home from us. Well, when you put it like that... But still, how come I have to stay here with Lu Bu? Master Liu Bei, you need not worry about us. You can rely on us to keep your home safe. Shu Province will be in no danger whatsoever while we are here. I know. Thank you, Master Chen Gong. I am relying on you. Zhang Fei. You are in charge while I'm gone. Try not to let your hair down too much just because Guan Yu and I are away, hmm? Welcome, everyone. I know you have come a long way to be here. I hear tell that the battle in Yan province was most savage. Please, 
Take some time to rest your weary bodies here in Shu Province. Master Liu Bei, we are most grateful. Most grateful indeed for your generosity. Once we have recovered, we will repay your kindness by joining forces with you to slay Cao Cao. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Right now, we are about to face Yuan Shu in battle. I will leave my sworn brother, Zhang Fei, here with you. If you need anything, please ask him. Chen Gong, are you really going to go through with this? But of course, our real enemy is not Yuan Shu, but Liu Bei. It's always been Liu Bei. He has managed to hold off an attack from Cao Cao with just a few men. His strength and that of his sworn brothers is not to be underestimated. I am sure that battle against him will be enough to satisfy even you, Master Lubu. Hmm. So your plan is the same as it was in Yan Province. Take Shu Province while Liu Bei is away, and use this land as a foothold in our quest for dominion over the land. Is that it? That is it? That is it in a nutshell. With my intellect and your strength, Master Lubu, taking Shu Province ought to be no problem at all. If we were to be accused of thievery, we would scarcely argue. But if this is what you want, Father, then I will fight against anyone you choose. Be ready for battle at any moment. To create a land of my own, and for the first step on my path to total rule, we will take Shu Province. Zhang Fei has been left in charge here, and seems awfully bored. So I have decided to send him a little gift, his favorite, wine. I would imagine that right about now, he is well and truly drunk. Hmm. Why do you insist on using such trickery? Do you wish me to fight against a pathetic drunkard? My lord, you must have a little patience. The true battle lies further ahead. Once we have Shu Province in our grasp, you may fight against anyone you choose. Cao Cao, Liu Bei, the choice will be yours. If we just wander without a home, constantly relying on the hospitality of others, the men will lose morale. Master Lu Bu, I believe our first course of action should be to secure a foothold of our own. I will fight with all I have to ensure that Shu Province comes under your control, Father. Very well. Let's do this. We will pummel that drunkard Zhang Fei and claim Shu Province for ourselves. You're thinking of snatching Sha Pi while brother is away. Uh, that makes me very angry. First of all, you betrayed brother who took you in when you needed help. And next, What's even worse is you think you can emerge victorious in a fight against the mighty Zhang Fei.
first. And now, Shopee belongs to me. Master Lube, terrible news from Shopee Castle. Lubu has betrayed us and seized control of the castle. What's more, he has dispatched an army to slay you, my lord. What? Brother! Zhang Fei, what has happened? Just what I feared would happen. That scoundrel Lu Bu attacked when I had my back turned for a split second! He attacked even with Zhang Fei there? I don't know if he's fearless or reckless. Zhang Fei, what is that I smell on your breath? Have you been drinking? Uh, just a little, I swear. Some wine was delivered. They said it was a gift. I'll wager you were drunk and fell asleep. And after our brother reminded you to remain alert. Uh, I'm sorry. That's enough, Guan Yu. There's no sense in lamenting that which has already happened. There isn't a moment to lose, brother. We must return to the castle at once. Yes, yes, you're right. Shu province was entrusted to us by Master Tao Chiang. We cannot allow it to fall into the hands of one such as Lu Bu.